Why are you packing so many toys? You said we needed to travel light. That's not light. A variety for entertainment is important. Otherwise, when it's getting bored, that is when you get stupid ideas. <laughs> yeah, but you said we're going to be gone max a week. That's like stuff for a month. Better to be on the safe side. Besides, the amount of stuff that is not vital you packed is the same. <laughs> we are not talking about me here. Besides, I like looking good. You know, what if we meet the certain someone on the way? These things are bespoke. See, Snips has also his vitals packed. Oh, before I forget, did you write down the coordinates of the different transmissions so we won't dig widely wrong? Uh, still don't get the shovel thing. There's all these perfectly good transport solutions back in my hood. But you know what? <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. And I have it all stuffed into my pocket. Ah, uh, yes, and before you ask, I do have all the right portable transmitters in the grenade box so they won't get destroyed. I said grenadine box. Oh. Not grenade box. Oh, whoops. Where the hell did you put the grenades? Well, I just put them in the big hole by the fence and put some compost on it. I just figured I'd take care of it when we get back. Oh my goddess. That hole by the fence back there is where the badgers pass through to steal eggs. But I didn't do anything about this as I want to have a sip. Well, that problem is solved. Is that an ear? Ugh. All right. So where to first? I need to program the DPS. DPS? You mean GPS, right? Nope. DPS. Digging Protocol Service. Oh, okay, great. Uh, well, first we go here. Good. Let's go. You know, you could help. Snips helps. He's just making holes in the ground with his bill and eating worms. Hey, I do understand sarcasm despite our language barrier. My manicure is pretty. I can't dig. And I help in other ways. I just can't do the whole digging thing. Look at my manicure. It's nice. Sure. All long and sparkly. I see you were single for a while now. Blech, fine, you have a point. Ugh, my dress gets dirty, I'm hitting you over the head with this. This is hard for me to grip with my extra thumbs. <sighs> Halfway there now, nice. Can we rest here for the night? Yep. Some hour left in the morning, but then we should be there. So make your bed rolls, folks. And don't let the Yeti bite you. Yeti? Yeah. They used the tunnels to move around to the different continents. Haven't you had one down in Subaru City? No, I've actually never seen a Yeti. That was just Greg. He had... Let's just say, issues. Wait, if there are tunnels, why are we digging? <sighs> well, okay, good night then, Snips. Don't steal all the pillow. I want some too. Mm, good night. Mm, I'm gonna send a note. Hi, it's me. I am still me. You out there listening. And still alive. And soon we will be back with a lot of amazing people to tell you stories. We realized we can't actually kidnap everyone because of, well, you know, overcrowding and a space issue. And I'm kind of acclimating to this world a little bit. Although, this sort of mid-in-between dirt world that we're in now. And when you look away from the GPS tracker implanted in my butt, I am really fine. I think. So basically, listeners, what I'm trying to say is that you're going to hear more from us soon. Just on a little bit of a journey to help gather people. And tune in and click subscribe on whatever device or thing that you're using to listen to me right now with. All right, it's sleepy time, so... So good night, and... If you do hear sort of a... A digging sound underneath you, um... Ignore it, it's fine. We're just working hard on producing this totally on-the-level podcast. Thanks! Bye! I remain yours, because I am.
Oh man, Greg, look at those two. And what is that? A duck? Yeah, I think so. <coughs> Babe, I'm so glad she didn't think I was a real yeti. Guess my story about the thyroid issue was believable. I'm just so happy you came to your senses and came home. So let's move on. <coughs> And I found some bullshit Bigfoot hunters in Oregon. You want to tease them? There's nothing I'd rather do with you, Steve. You keep talking about things like wood knocks, and you think that's how we communicate over distance. <laughs> I've never heard of anything this ridiculous. I mean, don't they know that there are payphones at nearly any of these parking lots for the trails? <laughs> I, I have most of them memorized. I hope you do too. I mean, you don't call so often, but when you do, 